Hello everyone. I think the second most complex thing after mocking database and faking database is basically a navigation. So in this video, we are going to talk about how we can test navigation. Navigation is kind of first of all uh, tricky to implement and it will have a lot of flows and edge cases and parameter passing from one screen to another and there will be a lot of dependency in navigations. But there are possibilities we can test the navigation as well. So basically there are two ways to test navigation. One is like simply launch that screen and verify the text on the screen, the new screen. And second would be that you need to have some uh, mocking mechanism or faking mechanism of navigation and just verify whether the method of uh, that navigation is being called or not. And when do we will use one of this approach? Uh, I'll just showcase here in this video. So the first thing here is that, for example, if we go to our co coverage here, we see that on a pop up menu, we just click on the task completed and we open a screen called task complete screen. You can see here that when you click here and I click completed task is it open this screen. So one way is to verify is that just verify this whole widget has been been stacked in the tree has been opened there. Just find this whole widget or you can just find this text here. So let's just see into example how we can do that. So I'll just go into our uh, home test. And if you remember our first test was to complete task option is available in the menu just to verify that we have fixed that spelling mistake. We can pretty much use the same test but not to verify the text here. Instead click on this text and verify if the screen is open or not. So first I'll just uh, refactor this into a grouping. I'll call it completed task and then I'll just move this test widget here and then I'll also write a test where I'll say open completed task screen. So here we are just testing that navigation when we click on that button completed task it should open the completed task screen. So what we are going to do here is instead of I've already created a utility tab from tap and settle. So here we are going to click on that option menu and then we are going to click on the text is basically the completed task here. And then once it's clicked that we are going to verify there are two ways. One either verify that the task completed text is been shown. So I'll just run this test. It's basically just verifying the task complete text here, here, so that it identify that that the screen is open. Or you can just find that widget. For example, I'll just find the type here. So if I go into home screen and just check that whenever the key home option is called, I have opened the task completed screen. And since it's a widget, I just can directly go to the home here and then I can verify just need to import it and I can just verify that this whole screen is been pushed on the tree. So I'll just run this both test and it will pass. Moreover, the best practice is to not use this uh, concrete implementation. Your test should not care about what kind of widget it, it is. Instead, it should be more of from a flow perspective, like the text we match earlier. But it depends what kind of code you have. Sometimes the text is not easy to match and sometimes directly finding that widget in the tree is simpler. Similarly, we can write the tests for add task screen. So basically we want to open a add new task screen. So what we are going to do is we are going to similarly uh, copy paste it here. If we go to the screen, we get that new screen when we click on this floating action button. So this screen appear. So here we are going to use similar thing since we don't have this 
home option matter we'll remove that and we'll click on the type floating action button so what we'll do is since we have only one floating action button we'll click on that let's just verify that it should fail so it will fail because the zero task completed screen was found but if we go to the home screen if we go to the floating action button we see that we open a new screen called add task screen so we need to just verify that here we'll just import that and i'll just run the test so now the test is passed both our navigation has been tested like opening new screen and completed task if we run this whole test suit just to verify we have not broken anything all tests are passing so this is very simple uh, navigation without much of a dependency but in complex app it won't be the case because on the new screen you will have a lot of dependencies for example here the task complete screen is just open independently but there might be a case where you pass an id to something uh, like detail page a product detail page and then based on that id you call the api and fetch the database and show that on the next screen uh, and in order to make that screen work uh, you need to fake all those data but here a focus is just to check that if the navigation really happened to that screen and we can test that other screen independently so the better way is to either mock that navigation or fake that navigation and verify the appropriate method is called or not for example on the home screen uh, if we are doing a navigation like here uh, we can extract that into a class called uh, app navigation dot open at task and move this method inside this open task and just pass the fake app navigation version here and see if that has been called or not so that would be a very much simpler solution or if you cannot do that just verify that the route has been pushed and just verify that the route is the desired route you are looking for i'll just showcase that how we can do that so in in material app widget in order to do a navigation we use navigator dot push and this navigator is uh, inherit widget inside a material app which basically get access from material app now when you push something here it just push that route and build that widget here so instead of pushing this into actual screen what we are going to do is we are going to fake this navigator and just verify that if the push has been called on a click uh, with appropriate route so how to do that we need to first fake it so we need to create a fake observer so we would call it fake navigator observer which will extend the navigator observer this is the class inside a material app widget which is basically called on on push or on the pop route since we are going to verify the push here we are going to override this method and just copy this route and previous route values like this so that since we similar did thing with the fake uh, app database where we store the state here we are going to store the route and previous route and just verify that this has been called okay this should be in our test so i'll just uh, move that to our home test and it will be another fake here now what we are going to do is we are going to go to our uh, home at task screen and here we are going to create our fake observer here and then we'll verify that something has been pushed when it was clicked because it might possible that this at task screen has been moved from a navigation to a dialog or uh, it's been moved inside some other screen so the test might still might pass but the behavior will change so here we are just having a one additional level of uh, testing that the navigation has been actually being called so here what we are going to do is we are going to just verify that the route values are not null and similarly the previous route is also not null uh, you can go further more into detail and then you can basically extract that route value and you can previous route value and exactly match where your 
uh, the current route is and what was the previous route but currently for simplicity purpose i am just verifying that the value should not be null and if we run this test it will fail the reason why this fail is because here first the route value is null and this is supposed to be true and second we don't have a way to tell our widget tree that use this fake observer like we did for a home screen we pass a fake app database and inject it here but we don't have a way to say our widget tree that use this fake observer and as i talked about since the navigator come from the material library so it's a part of uh, inherit widget inside a material library so we need a way to inject this fake observer into material app and since now we are using the wrap with material app this is the part where we can use that fake observer and inject it in our widget tray so i'll just go with the wrap material app so what we'll do here is we'll create an option list of navigator observer and then in the material home we have a parameter called navigation observer which basically take a list of uh, navigator observer so we can inject our fake one here and since this is an optional parameter it might be possible that some most of them will send a null value so we want to check that and then whatever the navigation has been there just append that into a list so what we'll do is that if the value is null it will give the empty error else it will just append the value inside it uh, this will allow to make this uh, wrap with material app backward compatible basically whatever other tests are using it will also pass because this value would be null and we'll be using the empty observer now we'll go back to our home test here and we'll pass our uh, navigator observer basically a list of fake observer and now we'll run our test here and now our app is passing because now it's using the fake observer which we are passing here now just to see that we haven't broken anything i'll just rerun whole uh, home screen test suit so that we make sure that we are not breaking any other test so now all the other tests are passing so yeah we are good with the navigation and just to be curious we'll see how much coverage we have increased since we have tested two navigation so i'll just run the usual as minus minus coverage and we'll generate the coverage now it's showing 33 percent as a whole but if you see in our last it was 81.4 but if I refresh, now it's 91.8. The route which we push here has been tested now, has been covered. Uh, similarly to like when we click on navigation.add task, it's been also covered. Uh, since it's covering not 100%, 91.8%, the missing part is that the return value, which I think we can test it, but I think the 91.8 percent part is good enough in order to refactor this home screen and provide a better structure to it so i'll say that now it's a good time that we go into refactoring mode because now we are covering 92 mostly 92 percent of our home screen here yeah uh, so that's it uh, just to conclude that both this approach like have its own pros and cons like directly matching the screen is the simplest way to do it but like uh, it won't be in the most cases because there would be some dependency on other screen which we need to fake it or mock it in that case you use the second approach where you just verify that the route has been pushed on that navigation and you don't care much about the other screen what it has just uh, verify the proper route has been pushed now we have completed the phase of you know writing test and creating a safety net and now we'll move to our next phase basically a refactoring phase where we'll just improve our existing design to a better structure without actually changing the behavior and we'll see how this test are really helpful in that case to verify that we are not breaking anything and how to go step by step refactoring step using test so yeah uh, that's it and see you in the next video so if you like this video then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.